Hello and welcome to the 37th video on the PHP e-commerce series. My name is Curtis and this is Free Skills. Well in this video um, we're going to go ahead and uh, make it possible to upload multiple photos and then have those photos shown in a slideshow. Um, first of all I'd, I'd like to apologize for it, it, it's been a couple weeks since I've uh, uploaded any videos and I just want to let everyone know that I am still doing this. I'm just very busy. i um, been working close to 80 hours a week. Um, but anyway, I have a few minutes, so let's see if we can knock this tutorial out. So let's get going. First thing I want to do is go ahead and open up all the files that we're going to need um, in this video. So we're going to need in the admin, we're going to go ahead and open products.php. And then we're going to open in includes, we're going to open head.php. And let's go ahead and open up our um, CSS our main.css here and let's open in the includes let's also open details modal I'm gonna go ahead and move that up a little bit and then we're gonna open up our index uh, we're gonna open our index file our search file and our category file okay that should be all the files that we're gonna to touch in this video so let's get going the first thing I want to do is just we're going to start a new uh, product here so I'm going to click on add product and you notice right here we have choose file and this only lets us choose one file um, I, I can't choose multiple files so that's the first thing that we're going to solve so let's go ahead and go to our products.php and if you just scroll down to where we have our form element let's see here um, so we have right here an input with a type of file. The thing that we need to do to make that have multiple files selected is just add an attribute to it called multiple. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save that and now if I refresh the page here you can see that that changes to choose files with plural s or plural files there and if I click now I can control click um, I can control click or even shift click um, files so I can I can add multiple files and I can add just one file if I would like so that's um, what we need to do there so let's go ahead and actually take a look at something really quickly um, back up here um, just for testing purposes we're going to go ahead and add right here in this block this if uh, post so if there is post value what I want to do is go ahead and um, add a temporary var dump and what we're going to var dump here is uh, files and that was photo and then let's just go ahead and put a die there as well so that we don't actually try to process the form so if I go now and let's just cancel this and refresh one time and if I go to choose files I'm going to choose uh, all six of these pictures um, and hit add product um, you can see now that we have an array um, the array though even though we chose uh, six images um, you can see that there's only uh, one image put here and it on Chrome it'll probably be the last image you selected um, other browsers it could be just random or the first one either way it's unpredictable uh, which ones that it's going to show so what we need to do is add one change one more thing in our in our form so that all of these are returned so let's go ahead now and back down here in our form go to our input with our image and it's right here this input here so what we need to do here is the only thing we have to do is right here in the name attribute um, we're just going to add square brackets there uh, open and close in square brackets. I can put anything in there and what that's going to do is return an array for that input. So if I save that out now, we'll go back here and if I choose my six images now and hit uh, add product, now you can see that I have six, um, I, I, my name array here ha has an array of six uh, elements in that array and so does type uh, right here type and you'll notice that temp and image and all of that and file size and everything else has six now 
So that's exactly what we want. Um, so now our form is ready to um, process the multiple images, but now we have to, on the back end, take care of actually uploading all six images. And we've already done a lot of this work, so we really don't need to do too much more. It's just gonna be adapting our code um, in order to do this. So let's go ahead and look back on our products page. And the first thing I wanna do is scroll up to right here where our var dump is and we have this if statement here um, what I want to do is we're gonna deal with this whole block so let's go ahead and find our closing curly brace here which is right here we're gonna deal with all of this so what I want to do um, before I do anything is I'm just gonna comment that all out and this is just gonna help us not miss anything so um, we'll comment that out and then what we're going to do here is right here this if statement this we'll comment this out as well because we're going to we're going to mess with all of that okay so let's jump back up here we're going to go step by step the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to get rid of this die here but I'm going to leave the var dump for now um, and what I want to do is go ahead and create a variable and we're just going to call this photo count because we need to know how many photos are being uploaded. So this photo count um, is going to equal we're going to use the count function in PHP. Now that just counts the elements in the array so got that so it's going to be dollar underscore files and then what we're looking for is photo and then we're going to add name. We'll just check for how many names are there in this now you could do any of them, you could do temp or whatever, temp name or whatever. We're just going to do name for this. So what this will do now, if I echo this, um, if I echo photo count, save that out, we'll go back here now and we'll add our images back, we'll add six of them. You'll see that this, I get six right here. Um, Echoed and this sick, not this whole array. This this array is happening because of our var dump, but this six right here on the end is that echo, and it's so we know that that counts working correctly because we have six photos. So we're in good shape there. So let's just continue to go here. I'm going to get rid of that echo now that I know that that's working, and let's look at this if statement. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just uncomment this if the opening and closing of this if statement, and we're going to go ahead and get rid of the condition here in the if statement and change that. Uh, we're going to change that to if photo count is greater than zero. So if this variable here is greater than zero then we'll execute all this in here. So let's just continue to go here. Um, this isn't going to be super difficult um, but there are a few things that can confuse us so let's just that's why I commented it all out and we're going to go through each thing. Um, the first thing that we want, need to realize is that we are actually um, needing to loop through each one of our files to upload them and to check all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop here. And the for loop, we can just go ahead and uh, set a variable right in the for loop here and we'll set i equal to zero. And then it gets a semicolon and we're going to check for if i is less than photo count okay if I is less than photo count go through the loop add another semicolon and at the end of that we're going to go ahead and increment I by one then what we can do we'll open and close our curly braces here and um, I'm gonna grab all of this oops to oops, all of this here and I'm just going to indent that and then at the end of it, I need to add my closing curly brace for the force loop. So it's right here. So that's my closing curly brace for the for loop. Okay, so now we have this loop and it's gonna loop through each time. And what we could do actually to test that is we could say um, echo, um, we're gonna say echo i, okay? And what that's going to do is just print um, 0 through 5 if it's correct because there's six elements in this array and I is starting at 0 so 
let's go ahead and test that, make sure our for loop's running. Go ahead and select six of these again. Um, undefined variable fop count because I misspelled that. So right there, that was a typo. You guys probably saw that. So let's go ahead and try that again. Okay. And there we go. We got the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's going through the loop um, six times. So we know that that for loop is working correctly. So let's just keep going. This is kind of how I program. Um, I, you know, I check each thing as I go by doing some sort of var dump or echo or something so that I know that I don't have any um, errors and it helps um, you know catch syntax errors and things like that as I go instead of getting a whole block of code done and then um, trying to figure out what's wrong at the end. What I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to get rid of this where it says f this whole line here that photo equals files photo. I'm not going to need that. Uh, let's just get rid of that. The next thing that we are going to do though is we're we'll on comment this uh, name right here and the name as it's looping through here is going to be photo and then what we're going to do here is um, oops so this is going to be equal to dollar underscore files and then photo that's our input and then <clears throat> we're going to grab the name and then we got to tell it what element it is so we're just going to put i there so the first time it goes through name is going to be equal to the photo zero and then photo one and photo two so that will set this name each time it goes to the loop Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is um, I'm going to plug, I'm going to add to a name array each time. And so in order to do that, I need to add that name array. So right here after required, um, let's go ahead and add a name array. And this name array, we'll just, or this variable here, we're going to make that an array. So we'll just say equal to an array. All right. So then back right here, we're going to uncomment this. I kind of messed up. Um, it, well, I haven't messed up, but I need to rename this array up here. So see this name array? We need. Let's just name that something different. So let's just call this um, photo name, and that will be um, that will be the. Uh, array that we're going to add to. So that's the photo name. So then this name array, we don't really need to change anything here and then we don't need to change the file name and the extension are fine. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, so then, let's see. Um, mime. Uh, we do need to change mime up a little bit. Um, so uncomment that, and we're gonna say this is. We're gonna explode the mime type by dollar underscore uh, files, and then photo, and then we got type, and then we also need to. Since we're doing an array now, we've got to add that i through there. So that's going to set mime there. So then these mime type and this here, um, we can also uncomment because we don't need to change those two lines. Okay. Um, so another thing that we need to do is um, we need to set up here next to our photo name, we need to do a temp block location we're going to set that empty to an or set that equal to an empty array and then right here in this temp right here this temp lock our temp location uh, we're going to change that again to be dollar underscore files uh, photo and then we're going to say temp name we're going to leave that and then we need to add on 
our I. So you see what's happening here is it's going through each loop for each photo and it's going to assign a name, okay, um, and it's going to grab I, I, so at the end of the loop I gets incremented, so that's why it jumps up to the next photo each time. So we're setting the, the name and then from that we're getting our file name and our file extension just like we were before and then we're going to um, get our mime and mime types okay just like before and then we got our temp location so this temp location here that's actually an array now and so we're gonna say temp location and we're adding to that array each time so we need to just add those square brackets so that's gonna add to this array right here each time it goes through the loop it's going to add that location okay so let's go ahead now and look at um, file size that's going to be very similar except for we're just going to get rid of that we're going to say files photo <clears throat> there's a common pattern here okay so now we're dealing with the file size and this allowed array here we can actually move this outside of the loop we don't need to set this this isn't going to change so I don't really need to set that every time we go through this loop so let's just jump up here um, next to this required we'll put it uh, here I think that's a much better place since we're doing a loop now we we'll just get that out of the loop and then um, the upload name um, is going to be the same thing uh, so yeah we don't need to change anything there and then the upload path um, we need to add an empty array up here first so upload path and that's going to be equal to an empty array I know this may be a little confusing and you can go back and watch it again and just make sure you get it but this upload path here we're going to add to that each time of the loop so this path is going to be added to an array then what we got to do is here's where it's going to get a little bit tricky um, but we're almost done with this loop because all of our checks are going to remain the same but the db path okay db path is we're we're going to leave this as a string. Um, we're not going to add this to an array. And so what we need to do is actually um, set this each time. Um, and so the way that we're going to do that is uh, we are going to um, basically concatenate on to the string each time. And the way that we do that is we just add a period equals. So that's going to add a period equal. Now we need this to be like comma separated so that we can easily separate this out. Um, so each time it goes through the loop, it's going to add this upload uh, DB path um, each time. And the way that we're going to do that is just right here above that DB path, we're going to add an if statement. And this if statement is going to do a little magic, but it's simple really. But what we're going to say is um, if I, okay is not equal to zero so if I is not equal to zero then we want to add before that we want to add a comma so all we have to do now is just say uh, DB path and we're going to concatenate on a string with just a comma so what that's basically going to do is it's going to loop through the first time and the first time I is going to be equal to zero so it's going to skip this if statement so it's going to add the first one to the DB path string the next time it's going to go through i is going to equal one so then it's going to see this and it's going to add that um, it's going to add that uh, comma and then it's going to add the second image uh, uh, database path so that's i know that's kind of confusing but if you just look at it a little bit more um, you should be able to understand it especially once we start actually uploading to the database so now these checks, uh, we don't need to change these at all um, because we've kept the, um, we've kept all these variables the same names. So I'm just going to go through and uh, we will uncomment all of this. All 
All right, so that's that. I don't really think we actually need the photo name. I think I added that the first time, and I don't think I actually used it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Sorry about that. All right, so let's just let's keep going here. We're almost ready to actually um, add these to our um, to our database. So if there's, it's gonna actually check each time it goes through this loop, and if any of those um, errors happen, it's still gonna add to the errors array. So that all works, and then this this check here. Um, will still be valid. So then we have this else statement. So let's just go ahead and uncomment that. And um, what I want to do is, yeah, this if statement, we're going to change that to match bef what we have up there. So we're going to say if is greater than zero. Okay. And what we're going to do is wrap this entire. Um, we're going to wrap this entire move upload database uh, into a for loop. So we'll say for, and we'll say i. We'll go ahead and reset that to zero. Um, i is equal to zero, and if i is less than photo count and increment i each time. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and move this into that for loop. So we need to just change a couple things in this move uploaded file function, but not much. The first thing that we're going to do here is just add, since this is an array now, we just need to add i here to the temp location. And then we also need to, on the upload path, add i there as well. So we have upload path, uh, the array is built up through this loop, and then we go through it one more time and we upload this file. So this is going to happen six times. All right. So then what we can do is once that's uploaded, that will actually add the files to um, our server. All right. So now we should be able to add, if all goes well, um, we should be able to add a product uh, here. So let's just say test, and we'll just give it a brand, parent, okay, list price, and I'm just kind of going to go through this quickly. and not add a lot of sizes and things like that. It's just going to be a test to upload. So I'm going to try to do all six of these here. I'm just going to call this multi-upload and hit add product. So I didn't get any errors. So let's go, here's that test. It went ahead and added that. So let's take a look. Um, that won't work yet, but that's a good sign. Um, let's go ahead and take a look in our database and look at, oh, you know what? This, I probably did break something and I'll show you what we need to do next so in products uh, if we find that test so let's just click sort by ID and then we'll do descending here's our last one this is test and if I look at this images let me just um, oops that was touchy so you can see here we got a problem and that is you can see that it's cut off here so this looks like it worked correctly but the last one, part of it's cut off. Um, and that's because we have this set to, if we look at structure, image is set to a varchar of 255 characters. So that is going to truncate anything past 200, 255 characters. So we need to change that. And we'll just change that to text. Um, and we'll get rid of this length here. And we'll hit save. So let's go back now to our products and let's just delete that row. That's going to leave some extra files in our um, let's see images, products. Uh, oh well. Um, so let's now go and try that again. Cancel. Um, so let's add another product. 
I'm just gonna call it the same thing. Shirts. Okay, do the same six images. Add a product. So now if we go to our products in our database and refresh, um, you can see that this shouldn't be truncated now in any way. Let's see, that's a good sign it ends with a dot PNG. Uh, and the last one has a comma between it. That's, we're looking good. So that's working. Um, it's not going to look like it works just yet. We're going to have to change a few more things, but it is actually uploading all of those images. Um, if everything's correct. So <clears throat> to test the next part, what we need to do is go ahead and jump to the front end of our site. So I'm just going to open another tab here. Logohost forward slash tutorial. And I'm going to find my, here it is. Um, it just says test here. Um, you can't see the photo there. And if I click in here, uh, you, it's all broken. So you might be thinking that it didn't work, but in fact it did work, but we're only, uh, in our code, we're only looking at one image. And so now it's trying for an image source, if I just inspect that, uh, it's failing to load this resource and it's trying to load all of our images in one, uh, as one photo. And so we need to loop through that. So in order to do that, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and update our details modal. and. Uh, it's going to be fairly easy to do, um, so let's go ahead and look at that. Go to the details modal, and then right where it shows the image, um, let's see, we got the title right here. We got this product image. What we need to do is we're going to just open up some PHP tags right above that, and we're going to say photos equal, and we're going to use it and explode because we're going to explode all of those and what are we going to explode by? Well a comma because we use a comma separation there and then for the second parameter of the explode we're going to grab product image. All right. So now we're going to have this array called photos. So what we're going to do is um, right here we're going to go ahead and uh, do a um, a for each loop and we'll just go ahead and use um, a colon there to close that. We'll close our PHP tags and then right below this div um, let's go ahead and do end for each alright and I'll indent this and you know what let's just clean this up a little bit um, so that we can see exactly what's going on quickly here. All right, so what are we gonna do? Well, for each photos as photo, okay? Then what we're gonna do is right here for our product, we're gonna leave the same for the alt tag. We're not gonna mess with that. But right here for the source, we're gonna go ahead and replace that with photo, all right? Once we do that, things are going to look really crazy again. But you can see all of our images are now loaded into our modal. So now all we have to do is like replace the, the list of images here and put that into a slideshow. So you can see all of our images actually uploaded. So we're doing great there. In order to do this, I'm going to use um, Photorama.io, which is a great um, JavaScript library. Um, Pre-built for us. It's got some cool features and it's very quick and easy to get going. So I went to Photorama.io and if you click on setup, um, it says that all you have to do is include um, your CSS and your um, JavaScript into this. Now you need jQuery, which we already have. So let's go ahead and grab our this link line right here. Okay, this is going to give us our CSS. So I'm going to copy that. And we're going to go to our includeshead.php, 
and after the last CSS right here, or our main CSS, dot CSS, we're going to go ahead and paste that Photorama style sheet there. Now this is a CDN, you could actually download this if you'd like um, and, and use it that way instead of using the CDN, but we're already using, I believe, our jQuery as a C CDN, so we'll just use a, a hosted version of this, that's fine. So go back here now, we just need to add our script. So after, make sure this is, this is important, it has to be after your Java or your jQuery, uh, which is right here, after jQuery, so I'm just going to put it at the end, we're going to include the photorama.js. All right. Once that's done, um, it's going to be fairly straightforward to uh, finish this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a class around our images called Photorama. So let's go ahead and take a look now back at our details modal. And we already have a div here, and we have this center block. Um, so let's just go ahead there and add a class to that. So, well, wait a minute. No, we don't want to do that. We have this class around the whole uh, for each loop. So right there, that column small six, we're going to put a space there and add Photorama. We'll refresh the page. We'll open that up. Okay, so it is working. Um, we just need to initialize the actual deal now. So if I go to setup and we go to um, customize and we'll look at initialization here. Um, right under initialization, we are going to um, grab this little bit of code right here and copy that. And then what we're going to do is um, back in our details modal, down here at the bottom of the modal, right after this, before our close modal function, we will paste that. And what this is basically going to do is it's going to grab the class of Photorama and, and initialize that Photorama deal on it. We're going to add a few. Um, we're going to add a few rules to that um, and I'll show you where I found these but we'll just go through it really quickly if you go to customize and then go to um, full list of options here are all the things that you can change about your slideshow so the different transitions and things like that you can change all of that go back to our details modal and in here in this photorama here I'm just gonna add a, a attribute or a, a data little JSON string here. We're just going to add loop. We'll set that to true. All right. And then the other thing that we need to do is a comma. We'll say autoplay. We'll say or uh, wait. Yeah, we'll just do true. So let's take a look now at what we have refresh the page and we open that modal up um, if we hover over we we have a little menu down here now and we can see that there's six options or six photos and we can actually click through them and when it gets to the end it loops through to the beginning again and it will also um, if we don't click next it will wait I think five seconds in a loop and you can change that too um, so we have pretty much ready to go there are some CSS things that we're going to take care of later um, in order to um, make this look a little nicer um, so <clears throat> yeah let's wait on that let's go ahead and do that at the end we'll do all the CSS at the end all right the next thing we want to do is make sure that we can sh show this image right here on the front so again this is just it's not showing us the image because it's trying to add all of our images as a source so we just need to loop through those and only add the first image as our preview um, so let's go through that really quickly um, let's get back to let's go to the index page and we got a for or a while loop here and then we can see our product image right here so 
what we can do is we can actually um, just grab that image so we're going to just open up some PHP tags right above that that's fine and we'll say photos equal to explode we're going to explode by a comma and then for the last parameter in that we are going to grab product image and we can close our PHP tag there because now we have this photos so what we're going to do now is just right here we're echoing out that source um, we're just going to put photos and we're going to grab the zero index which is the first one okay so now if I just refresh this page here you can see that my image works um, and the rest of these images work as well because the explode function if they're just one image uh, there's not a comma it still will add that as the first element in the array so that's good now we just we have our search and we have our categories that we need to do the same thing in so for instance if I go to boys and shirts now um, it's still broke on this page and that's just because we can close the index.php now um, but go, go ahead and look at category and we're going to do the same exact thing right here in this while loop right above our image we'll just do photos equals explode we're going to explode by a comma and we're going to say product image And then here we can just get rid of this and put photos zero. All right. So that will fix this page now. There we go. You can see that this still works. All right. Still looking good. Um, and the last one, we'll go ahead and close our category page is the search.php. We need the same exact thing here. So down here in the bottom, we have our image. Then go ahead and Open up PHP, we'll say photos equals explode. Alright, and we'll get rid of this and we'll say photos zero. So now even our search page should work. Um, so let's go ahead and Try that out by using ours. Yep, looking good, looking good. Okay, so let's go back to our home page. Um, and we can close, oops, what is going on there? We can close our search.php. Um, let's go ahead now and we, what we haven't done is fixed. Why is it doing that? Got some issues going on here. What, what we haven't done is it back on the back end now if I go in and edit this um, that needs to be fixed and then we need to be able to delete those images individually um, without messing up our entire database so um, if you have click delete image you notice you've messed things up that's fine let's go ahead and fix that up really quickly so we're gonna go down here to where we have our um, photos looped out and let's see that is in products.php saved image so this saved image right here um, this little div right here we need to do something with right here underneath the saved image um, we're going to open up some PHP tags and we're going to say image incrementer or image i that's a stupid name but that's what I'm calling it that's equal to one okay we're gonna start with one and let's just uh, clean this up a little bit alright so we got image image i equals one and we're gonna say images equal uh, explode so the same concept as we did with our other pages here um, and what are we gonna explode well we're going to explode saved image. So it's going to explode that. Uh, it's going to explode that by commas as well. So now uh, we got 
Uh, we've got our PHP here. So we're going to do a for each loop. So we're going to say for each. And we'll give that a colon. And then we're going to loop over the, uh, the, the entire div here. So at the end of this div, we'll add end for each. Okay. And this for each needs the parentheses. Okay, so we're going to say for each images as image. And then all we have to do is we need to say right here in this image source, we're going to change saved image to image. And then this, what we're going to need to do is for our delete link, we need to add another um, get variable here. So at the end of this, we're going to say of this uh, href right here, we're going to do an ampersand. So we'll say and image i equals, and then we will echo out, um, we're going to echo out image i here. So OK. And the other thing that we need to do is increment in this loop, we need to increment image i each time. So right here, before the end of for each, um, we can just say um, image i plus plus. All right, so let's take, oh my gosh, why is it doing that? Um, refresh this page, and now you can see that all of our images are here and if I hover over you can see that our our links all have that image I and then they're incremented each time which is what we want to happen okay so and we're gonna clean up the style of this to make it look a little bit better anyway so now that we have that we need to actually make it work with deleting our images so that's pretty straightforward too um, so back in our products we're gonna stay in the same file but at the top now there's a check that we're checking if we are editing. By the way, while we're here, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this var dump. We don't need that anymore. But we also, um, there's an if is set edit. And then we have another check here that's saying de if delete image. Okay. So this is where we need to add the code to delete these images. So this isn't going to be um, too difficult. So let's. Um, Let's just kind of follow along here. We need to add another variable here, and we're going to say um, image i is equal to. Uh, we'll cast it to an int just for a little bit of security. So then we're going to say dollar underscore get. Uh, let's say image i, and we're going to do a minus one there. Okay. So that will change one to the zero and so on and so forth. So we'll know what image needs to be deleted. Um, so then what we can do, uh, I'm going to move this up just to the top of this. And then uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to create an images array. So we'll explode that. And then we're going to grab product image. All right, so that gives us our images array. Um, then the image URL, we don't have to do much to that, but what we got to do is right here at the end where we're, we're putting on the product, um, we have this, we're concatenate on product image. We're going to change that to concatenate on images, and then we're going to pass in as an index there uh, image that i. Okay, so that that will basically will grab the image URL for that uh, image i there. So the next thing that's going to happen is we're going to unlink image URL, so we don't need to change that line of code. That's fine, um, and then we're going to remove that from our array. So we have this images array. We, we need to unset that now. So we're going to say unset and this will remove this from the array. So the, the what we need to do is just say unset images 
and then which one are we unsetting? Well, image I. Okay, so that will remove it from this images. So then what we have to do is um, we have an uh, we need to turn that back into a string now. So after we've unset that, we can say image. I'm just gonna call it image string is equal to implode. We're gonna implode by a comma, okay? And then what we're gonna implode? Well, images, okay? So I'll turn that back into a string. It'll be comma separated, just like we already stored it in our database. And the only thing that we need to do then is go ahead and run this db um, query and instead of update set images equal to a blank string we're going to set that equal to our image string okay so that uh, we're just removing one image at a time so we're still gonna have images in there so it's not gonna be a blank string and we'll go ahead and leave um, where ID equals edit ID that's fine and then we'll do the redirect so let's save that okay <laughs> well my computer is being all kinds of crazy right now so I'm gonna try to delete this first image here because well I just want to delete that one so I'm gonna hit delete image and you can see it already redirected and it's gone so that's actually already working and in fact I can delete all these images and it is deleting them from my server as well and when I do that now I'm back to here and I can re uh, load those and hit edit product if I go back to edit now they're back and I can delete that first one again because I don't want it on there just because it's confusing alright so now that I have all of that um, alright I don't know why but that's what we're doing so now um, now that we've done that we need to make it look a little nicer here and that's just a little bit of CSS so let's we're gonna jump to our main CSS here um, because if we look down where that is being um, printed right there we have where are you at sizes images okay so we have images have a saved image class um, so if we need to find that saved image in our main.css so we're finding a class called saved image right here and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to say um, width of auto and we're gonna set height we're gonna just go ahead and set that to 150 pixels okay the other thing let, let's go ahead and do is just um, to make it look a little nicer let's do a saved image and let's do text align center we'll save that uh, refresh the page um, so yep that's what we want but then we also want to um, go back here so in our products.php let's add a class to this and we'll just use a bootstrap class and we're gonna say column medium 4 refresh it alright so now it's gonna put three in a row here um, so if I delete these, go ahead and put all six of these back and hit edit product, go ahead and look at it again and now you can see that they're at least stacking somewhat decent for us to, to delete these images out of here. Alright, so I'm just going to leave it like that, that's fine, and get rid of this too. Alright, so there's my product with multiple images. Um, the last thing that we need to touch up is in our... Um, when we actually look at that, so let's go to that was in boys shirts right here. It's our test. We need to clean up this here. Um, so let's go ahead and 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 do that really quick. Um, let's see. 
In order to do that, we're going to go to our main.css and let's look at this image details right here. Um, we're going to change that. So instead of it being image details, um, we're just going to change that to um, photo rama, and then there's going to be two underscores of uh, wrap. Let's get rid of this center block right here. Let's get rid of these divs inside of here and just loop through the images. There we go. That's more like it. Anyway, we have a slideshow now and it's working on every page and we can also edit them from the back end and add more products. Um, you can see if we just have one image. Um, one bad thing about this system I think is that you have to delete all your images to add more um, but that could be a challenge for you guys if you want to do that differently. I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, this was kind of an add-on video because so many people asked how to upload multiple images and I feel like we've shown how to add those images now so um, here they are and I hope you guys have enjoyed it so I mean basically what we're doing let me just give it a recap um, you're still using the image upload the same exact functions um, but you you create an array of images and then you loop through that array and check them and upload them um, and then you just have to deal with that in a database and your code um, you have to make sure you're dealing with multiple images so anyways I hope you guys liked it you don't have to do this this was like an optional video but if you do want to have multiple images um, now you have a better understanding of how to do that um, so anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed this hopefully I'll get more videos up soon and um, if you have please comment like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video